We are for sure family. Hi everybody, this is Maddie from Maddie Kitchen. I'm here uh, at my daughter house in North Carolina and I'll be cooking in a different location, but same food though. So I'm gonna start today, I'll be cooking uh, two types of fish. I'll be making salmon and rainbow trout. I'll be cooking some asparagus, asparagus tips. So I'm gonna start with the uh, season of fish. You will need salt, a little salt, a little pepper, just a little bit, and uh, this, this is what I'm fixing today. You can either use it for, you know, I got on red for, for Valentine's. You can use it, do it for Valentine's Day. And the reason I'm doing two different types of fish, this is Old Bay, I'm using some Old Bay season. And the reason I'm doing two uh, different types of fish, cause uh, uh, I'm fixing this for couples. They can share, you know, eat off the plate and eat, each one can taste each other fish. So I'm gonna start with, uh, I'm gonna do a little lemon, this fresh lemon, squeeze it over. Okay, my favorite butter, Man of the Lake. Let's put a little butter over here. I melted the butter, I melted it. So it's soaking that butter. Now I'm gonna put a little onion on there. I chopped the onion up. I'm using a sweet onion, a yellow onion, and I'll put a little bit on top of it. This is good. It's called onion butter fish bait. Try to do it equally. Take some breadcrumbs and put a little butter on it, so I can the butter so I can wet it. This is simple, it's so simple, but it's really good for people, you know, you can eat this. It's gonna look good when I finish the little breadcrumb, get that little crunchy taste. Don't put too much on it. Put it equally. This would be a good little Valentine's Day you and your mate. Okay. And my favorite is I put a little bit more butter on this one so make sure that it get a good browning. Be brown pretty good. I preheated my oven to 360 so it can cook, because it don't take fish long to cook. Then this is me, this is what I like. I like a little tap of honey, just a little bit, because it's gonna make it brown. Just a little bit. Okay. Then I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit. Bay, old bay season, just a little bit. Okay, now that's all it is to it. Put it in the oven, let it back. Okay, I'm gonna put it in this little uh, pan. This, uh, I got this from Walmart, it's pretty good. Put it in and let it bake. Pick it up. Put it inside by side. This. this one in there. And I'm gonna take and pour some of this butter that's left. I'm gonna pour it right over here. Over here. It was ready. All I had was the salmon and the trout. I put, I seasoned it with salt and pepper, 
And I also put a lemon, sprinkle some lemon Old Bay on it, put some butter on it, put some little breadcrumbs on it. Now I'm ready to put it in the oven. Very simple, take you about, what, five minutes to do this. I put it in the oven and it's gonna bake for, uh, I'll say about, you know, it don't take this long, about 15 minutes until the breadcrumbs get a little crunchy. If, if, it, if I think it's done before the bread crumbs get crunchy, you can also just take it, put the oven on broil so it can just, you know, cook quick, brown real quick. So I'm putting it in the oven. Okay, and I'm gonna let it bake for about 15 minutes. Now, to complete this, uh, the fish, I'm gonna use some asparagus because I think that goes really good with them. I'm gonna spread them out. It goes really good with fish. Okay, I, I decided to do it like this right here. I think it'll, it'll do better because you're not gonna spread it out better like this. Okay, let's go up with salt. A little salt, we don't need that much because it's a little salt. You see, I normally just use salt and pepper because I kind of use other things. I don't like, if I'm going to use garlic and all the other flavors, I want it to be fresh. Try to use fresh seasoning. Okay. Then I'm going to put a little butter on it. And I think I'll put the lemon first. I'll spread some lemon first. Lemon. That's good. Uh, I have a backup coming. <laughs> I do like fresh, but that one coming out too good, so I use some of this. Okay, and put a little butter on it. I try to butter all of it. Okay. And once it's still in the oven and it get cooked, I'm gonna use some cheese. It's Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna put it on top of it. I'm gonna let it cook for about maybe a good to it till it get tender. Probably about 15 minutes. Okay. Hey y'all, the fish been cooking for about five minutes, five, eight minutes while I was getting the uh, asparagus ready. So now I'm getting ready to put the asparagus in there. I had to change pans because that pan wouldn't fit in there, so I'm changing them. Oh man. Let it cook and put, cook, put them both in the same, you know, in the same oven. And the reason I made this fish, because you know, Christmas and then Valentine's Day. And I, I cook two types of fish because you know you're gonna share. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the fish on a platter. I'm gonna put the asparagus in the middle of it, and uh, in the middle of the fish. And you all can, you know, you can eat some of his. He can eat some of yours. And it's just so romantic. And I always like I like this baked fish. It's really good and it's really simple. I mean, it's easy to do and you will enjoy it. Just get you some little soft music. You can get a little wine and eat it. It's very good. I like it and I think you will like it too. Fish looking good. Need about. Five minutes, maybe five or ten minutes. Here's asparagus. They're doing good too. I'm gonna let them cook a little bit more. Okay, y'all, I'm ready to put this pot, ready to take out the oven. So I'm gonna take and put a little, uh, take these and put a little cheese on top of the asparagus. Just put a little cheese on it, get a good flavor. You know, put some on it. Let it melt, I know this is gonna take a second. Just to melt. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I'm putting a little Parmesan cheese on top of it to give that little kick and put it back in the oven until it melts. It'll take about a second and I'm, the fish is ready to, almost ready by the time this hit. You're really gonna enjoy this. If you cook it, you'll yeah, really enjoy it. Simple, simple, simple. And it looks good. Okay, it's about ready. I'm gonna take out the fish first. Let the cheese in it a little bit more. Is that good, that look y'all? Okay, that's ready. Take out the scallops, it's about ready too. I'll let this thing in about a second while I take the fish out. About a couple more seconds. How good the fish looks. I'm gonna take out the trout. This is a trout. The salmon came out better than the trout. Maybe I won't use trout next time, but it looks okay. It's gonna taste good. It just don't look as good as the salmon. But anyway, that happens sometimes. But it's gonna be good. Okay, the asparagus is ready. So I'm gonna put it right in the middle of this uh, fish. Okay, I'm gonna put a couple of lemons around it, just a couple of them. Give that look. You can take a little lemon and put it around it, just for, you know, it's just to make it look cute, but you also can use a lemon to squeeze on in case if you need a little bit more lemon. And here's your the trout and the salmon. I said the salmon makes it look better, but it's gonna taste about the same. Okay, the meal is finished. It looks good, and I'm gonna see how good it tastes. Although me by myself, I, you should have somebody over there with the salmon eating with you, but I'm gonna eat it by myself. Mmm, that trout is good. I'm gonna taste the salmon. See, you can eat, he can eat some of yours, you can eat some of his. Pick the asparagus up with your hand. Mm, tender and good. They're tender and good. I hope you all enjoyed my little quick meal. It looks really good and it tastes good. Normally I cook uh, old fashioned food. I just wanted to show you that I can cook this too. And this is very, it just looks so good and it's so, you know, it's not. It's something that most young people can enjoy, middle-aged people can enjoy, and older people definitely can enjoy. So I want you all, like I said, to tune into my kids' channel. They're doing real good, and they got me in it. So I'm, I'm going to try to do my best and make sure I bring y'all some good cooking. Thank you very much. This is a warm welcome from the bottom of our hearts from the Foreshore Family Channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Until next time, see ya!